Well, good afternoon, everybody. There you can take a look at the clouds and the radar. You can see how these clouds are beginning to move in into the central part of Illinois. Now here in the News 10 viewing area, we don't have uh, any real cloudiness out there. There are a few clouds floating around, but uh, generally it's a hazy sunshine. Now as we get further into uh, what's going to become the overnight hours and so on. I think the clouds will come in and thicken up somewhat. And already you can see a little bit of rain coming out of the eastern portion of Illinois into the far northwestern part of Indiana or of, of Illinois coming out of Iowa. And so what's going to happen is this eventually will make its way here into the News 10 viewing area. I don't expect that this is going to be a tremendous amount of rain and it's not going to be a really long period of rain. It's going to begin through the overnight hours and maybe last into the first part of the day tomorrow, but most likely not an all day rain during the day tomorrow. Well, right now it's 87 degrees. That's the high for the day so far, but it's hit 89 in Robinson. Uh, Flora has 87, Effingham 88, and Mattoon 85 degrees. Dew points are up a little bit, and of course that is a very good indication of how muggy it feels out there. The higher the dew point number, the more muggy you feel. And so the dew point is 69 degrees. Tells me a couple of things. First of all, you're going to feel kind of sticky out there. And not only that, that tells us we have enough moisture in the air to have a, a fair chance of making at least some scattered showers and thunderstorms. At this point, doesn't look like a huge thunderstorm outbreak or anything like that. We don't have any severe weather watches or warnings in effect for the News 10 viewing area. And so that's good. But there is uh, the possibility that we could have some thunderstorms during the overnight into the very first part of the day tomorrow. Beyond that, I think we'll be okay. And probably by this time tomorrow evening, uh, we'll have noticed a major change in the weather, a change in the direction of the wind, kind of a breezy day tomorrow. You're going to notice it's going to be rather breezy tomorrow, and it will be cooler than it is today. Uh, wind from the southwest in Terre Haute at 10, south breeze in Paris at 12, southwest, almost west in Robinson, uh, south breeze in Mattoon, Effingham has an 8 mile per hour breeze. A look at the Storm Team 10 future cast takes us through the overnight hours uh, and into the uh, first part of the day tomorrow. Again, the possibility for uh, are some widely scattered showers or thunder showers. I believe future cast is a little reluctant to bring rain into the first part of the day tomorrow, but I'm going to put it in the forecast because it looks to me as though this front is moving fairly slowly and there's a low hooked on to it. And so that could bring us a chance of rain. So warm and humid chance of overnight storms, 70 for the overnight low, early thunder showers tomorrow, but then breezy and cooler high tomorrow about 80. That's below average by about eight or nine degrees. And then partly cloudy tomorrow night, breezy and cooler, 55 for the overnight low and the seven day forecast. Uh, we get into the next several days. Uh, Thursday and Friday look pretty good, 79 degrees. And during the day tomorrow, I think we're going to be OK, especially through most of the day. But a lot of things going on this weekend as we get into Saturday, Sunday and Monday. And uh, I'll keep a watch on that. So will Lindsay and Joseph because, you know, the brickyard's coming up and we don't want to spoil that. 